A podcast called Split Decision brought to you from the SinCal Studios. Studios? Studios. Studio. Studio. Well, technically, it's another one. Studio. Studio. It is Bula Gosh. What is that song about? A girl named Susudio? Susudio, yeah. Right? That's what he says? Susudio. Is her name Sue? Or Studio? I think it's Studio. Is she Japanese? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to go on alert after this. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Of course, we have your MMA news. It's Thursday. It's weird. It is Thursday. It's so it is weird. weird. We're going to look back on fights from last weekend. I don't know if any of them happened, and then we'll look forward to fights that Hey, Blake, weekend. what are you doing? <laughs> um, Blake's up in here. <laughs> what up? Congratulations on your engagement. Yeah. On St. Patrick's Day when they're getting married. I can't see you at all because... I can't see the monitor. Screws too far away. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's laser eyes don't work. No, no, no. I'm working You're on stuff. Working I'm working on stuff to put everything right here under the camera. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Good deal. We'll look Teleprompters. Cool. So it is time to, uh, to to jump in the new. Yeah, it's Thursday show because we have stuff going on tomorrow. I went and got vaccinated today for all you anti-vax watchers. What did you say you have in you right now? Uh, right now I have chicken pox in this arm and I have measles, measles and mumps in this arm. Mm. And I might become artistic. So... <laughs> Everyone look out. It'll help the show. Yeah. <laughs> I might be able to draw really good next week. Jumping into the news, what is going down with Ronda Rousey? Ronda Rousey over the weekend at SummerSlam, WWE pay-per-view show, uh -huh. won the women's WWE title. I'm really surprised that this has already happened. But. She's the first woman ever to win a UFC and a WWE title. She is not the first athlete to win a pro wrestling title and also have held in a mixed martial arts title. Uh, Brock Lesnar... Talked about Frank, uh, Ken, Ken Shamrock, Shamrock. Um, and then uh, Dan Severin. Dan Severin all have won. And why does she have the belt already? For the love of my Pretty much. Yep. They got to capitalize on it while they can, man. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, she got a lot of support from MMA MMA people out there. They're tweeting all about it. Chris Wyman was there live. DC congratulated her. Even Cyborg congratulated hey, her. It's cool because, I mean, she. we've talked to her before. She's a huge wrestling fan. Yep. She, Huge Pokemon fan at heart. Yep. She's happy to really Dragon Ball Judo, Z. <laughs> was, was able to take that into the UFC, become a champion. Yep. But she's following her dreams now. And yep. next she's going to become her. a Pokemon. But I don't know trainer. how she's doing it because her whole life totally went in the dumper, you said. <laughs> yeah. That movie that she was in is never coming out, which I yeah. think when we go see it, you're going to owe me money for. Uh, yeah. It's never coming out. Mile 22? No. Mile 22. The one that's coming out next here. month? Yeah. She's in Mile 22? Yeah. 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 It's not her movie. Yes, it is. It's totally not her movie. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> hey. Douchebag what? was the one we talked about. He's in the movie with her. It's it's what Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Garner and her and, and her. And her. She's they're not even build. showing on the yeah. on the previews. She's top build. Yes, I haven't seen her in any previews. Yeah, it have literally you says any previews? Ronda <laughs> Rousey. I've seen like four previews and I've never seen mm, her. in it. Then you haven't been watching the previews that I watch. All right, we watch some previews. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the edited versions that are like fuck yeah, Ronda no, Rousey. I'm getting the, yeah. Ronda, the Ronda Rousey cut. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not watching the commercials around SummerSlam. No, no. no. You're not, you don't even have TV. I don't have TV. So then how are you watching commercials? Trailers? On Reddit. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely edited. <laughs> yeah, nobody on Reddit. It's all fan made. What are you talking about? Look at about? this goat. <laughs> it's the, it's the YouTube videos. It's the official YouTube trailers. Uh, another former UFC star has finally signed with the WWE, which is this is kind of a long time coming. The King of Bros, Mr. Matt Riddle. Has signed oh, to NXT. Man. I'm I don't excited recognize him for this. with the hair, but yeah. I'm excited for this. Well, he's been doing this off on the, the lower circuits for quite some time. Yeah, he's now. been on the indie circuit. He's won a bunch of titles on the indie circuit. He's his whole character, he's the king of bros. Yeah. He basically just hangs out, smokes pot, Is and he does like a silent bob character to be like his tag partner? That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I think they're gonna go a little <laughs> he does R look like Jay, huh? They're gonna they're gonna go a little RVD, little Rob Van Dan style, oh, where he's definitely gonna be a stoner and just super broish. Like that's his whole thing anyway i hope they clean him up and he goes like full pcu like after <laughs> after he's like after he's super broish for a little while like david spade at pcu <laughs> yeah. where's the button up and the tie all of a sudden he gets a haircut and goes full pcu it'd be awesome i don't know if he'd want to do that <laughs> be hilarious i'm in political correctness university but yeah <laughs> on, on south park on south park oh okay but i know what you're talking about yeah, same, I mean, movie, same idea same idea same yeah. idea yeah. yeah yeah uh Evan Dunham has decided he is going to retire after his next fight. So you're going to lose his next fight? <laughs> you got to go out on your back. Said September 22nd will be back. my last fight. I can retire from the sport uh, that I love with my head held high. I know that I never held anything back when the cage, and it will be no different September 22nd. Uh, my goals and priorities have shifted throughout the years, and I'm ready to concentrate on building my gym as well as any new opportunities that may come my way. All right, Evan Dunham, thanks for the memories. 
Yeah. But once I think once you you basically admit to yourself that you don't have the fight in that you're anymore, done, and then you're gonna go into the fight one more time. Done is done. Dunham is done. I've Dunham decided done. to lose my next fight. I've yeah. decided to lose my next fight. <laughs> I've decided that I'm just done. Uh, moving on from there, Michael Chandler has re-signed with Bellator. Bing. A new multi-fight deal. Bing. His last deal ended uh, at the end of the year. Bing. Are you, are you excited to see Michael Chandler stay in the... No, Chandler Bing from Friends. No, motherfucking Josh LaCour. <laughs> Josh LaCour is watching from the military barracks. What? What? <laughs> What's what? up, Josh LaCour? Yeah. I hope I'm saying his last name wrong. What, right? Wrong. wrong? Right. Well, no, actually, for our sign, we got to say it wrong. Uh, I've already said a name wrong, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we'll keep going. We I got said, names to read. Name we got we names started, to read when so. we break down fights, so we'll, we'll get one wrong. Yeah, we'll be Thank right. you to every uh, military person out there serving. Thank you. Uh, Yoel Romero recently pe- posted on his Instagram that he's been tested two, mi- two times this month by USADA. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, not me. <laughs> what is it? I'm not surprised, motherfucker. <laughs> he said he's going to start charging rent to USADA so they could just stay with him in his house. Well, quit looking juiced. <laughs> Or getting busted. <laughs> I think that's the solid point right there. <laughs> Stop breaking the law, asshole. <laughs> He's so. Would you like a piece of horse? <laughs> oh wait, that's Reem. Oh, that, that was Reem. That's Reem. That was Reem. Sorry. You need to test his Cheez-Its. <laughs> his Cheez-Its. His Cheez-Its is where he's at. Think your Cheez-Its are juiced. <laughs> uh, I mean, do you think there's other guys like this that are not fa- or failing the sniff test and then they're immediately just going to have we saw it hanging out their house yeah, time. didn't like Vitor Belfort like yeah, Rosemary Paul Harris five times in a month or something yeah <laughs> Rosemary Paul Harris yeah <laughs> you can check out by the way if you go to Usada's website you, there's a a list of everybody how many times they've been tested oh yeah that's and, it, right. and it constantly updates so you can constantly watch well, to see. didn't Holly make a big deal about how many times she was tested yeah, no they, no no Cyborg, Cyborg made a made big, big deal, deal and Holly was and like the, I've been tested more bitch yeah cause she said she was like you can go to the site we've been tested the same amount yeah yeah she was like, it's not fair. I'm constantly being tested. Well, I mean, well, you got busted one time, so they're going to yeah. test you. That's like Nick and Nate saying they've been tested too much. And it's not because they're testing them for steroids. Yeah. Well, the thing is about Nick and Nate is that they just don't show up for the test and they hide. <laughs> that's not true, man. No, There's they the, don't The whereabouts hide. app You're wasn't working John, on their phone. No. You're thinking John Jones. He literally <laughs> hit. <laughs> Allegedly. He says... By he has shell zone. never left the testing pool, by the way. So all these new training videos you're seeing of John Jones are like, he's like, I've never left the pool. I'm just saying I'm ready to come back when they allow me to come back and everything gets taken care of. And there's no more lawsuit. And <laughs> yeah. Everyone forgets what a douchebag I am. <laughs> Two guys who didn't uh, do well with the testing, which I think is hilarious, is Anthony Hernandez and Jordan Wright fought each other on the Dana White season night contender series and both tested positive for pot. Do you think one got really high and then, like, sweated into the other guy? Like, <laughs> like man, I didn't get high as bullshit. It was him. I don't know. They both look like stoners to me. <laughs> what? Look at the expressions on their face. What? They kind of look like they don't know where they're at. I like cereal because it's crunchy. Uh, <laughs> are you taking my picture right now? All right, cool. Uh, anyway, both of these guys got busted by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. For weed, man. So they lose 15% of their purse, plus their attorney fees, plus their outcome. To each other? Outcome. No, it, I guess they had fought somebody else. But it's I just such like a bullshit. It <laughs> it's such bullshit. Uh, six months suspension. For weed? For weed. What? I know. And their wins are no contest. It's not a drug unless you'd suck dick for it. Did you suck dick for weed? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Addiction. That's right. Never mind. Right. Uh, some local fighter news. Mayday McDonald has stop, an update. Stop, stop, How do you we're, suck addiction? We're, <laughs> we're not going to talk about him. I'm talking about him right now. Are you sure? Yeah. Huh. He has an update. He would like everybody to know. He don't want us telling anybody his that, updates. That uh, he has news about his hand. Unfortunately, the first attempt to fix his hand was not successful. So he's going to have to have surgery again after all. So is it like all. this now? Not only did I shatter the bone, but I crushed it. It's the HMO. He's, he's like, lost what? a quarter inch yeah. off of his knuckle and pointer finger length, which misaligns and deforms his fist. It's going to fuck up your reach, dude. Yeah, so automatically I'm loaded with a sex joke, and I can't use it. <laughs> can't uh, use it. You can. No. They're, they're going to try to fuse. Disrespectful. Wait, they're going to try to fuse the bones back together and extend it back to the original length, as well as adding a steel plate. The rover took over and gave him a bone of his own. <laughs> I'm curious if when the doctors delivered this news to him, if it hurt his feelings. <laughs> Joey's going to get beat up. <laughs> it's all, who is it? Michael McDonald. <laughs> Delivery. I'm not home. 
So his surgery is going to be August 30th <laughs> have to wait in Las hands Vegas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you slept shitty with the other hand. <laughs> he is taking prayer requests if anybody wants to mm. throw it out pray there. for him. T's and P's. T's and P's. T's and P's. When do you think we'll see me in back? God can let the starving children in Africa wait another day. Yeah, he needs his fist first. <laughs> he needs his fist <laughs> yeah, first. He is a warrior of God. <laughs> we have Khabib Nurmagomedov against Conor McGregor at UFC 229. They're saying it's going to be the biggest event in UFC history. I don't know if this is necessarily going to be true or not. I don't, I don't think so. On that one. Uh, allegedly, they said tickets were sold out, and then they retracted and said, okay, almost sold out. Yeah. Uh, they are saying though it they, is. Didn't they do the same thing with the tickets for Mayweather and him? Yeah, sold out. Okay, we still got a few left. And then we looked it up, and it was like literally sections. Yeah, yeah. are empty. Yeah, um, tickets went on sale last Friday. Already, it has produced the second largest live gate. Okay, I mean tickets sold, cool. but the it's are also the highest average ticket price yeah. ever. Yeah, tickets are pre. The expensive. cheapest tickets two hundred and five. Something like that, yeah. They were they were listing ticket prices. Uh, let's see, on the secondary market, cheapest tickets are two hundred five dollars. They are going for dude. Six, I hit it dead on six hundred and thirty one dollars right mm -hmm. now. So there oh, are seats. Working. Ringside working. seats are ten thousand to forty five thousand dollars. That's when you just have fuck you money. How much would you pay to go see this fight? No, that's where you tell, hey everybody, we're the company's going well, to the fight, and you write it off as a building thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Is it like if I if I wanted to see this fight, I would, I would pay two hundred five dollars to go see this fight, but I wouldn't pay two hundred five dollars to go sit in the nosebleeds into this fight. I'd rather pay a hundred dollars and watch it on pay per view. True. You're not even gonna pay for it, and you're still gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. You're gonna stream it. Is it this weekend? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it's not for a while. I'm two gonna, weekends. I'm not gonna stream it. My my device doesn't work. It doesn't. No. What happened? No. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I have like Netflix and Prime, and that's it, man. <laughs> Uh, another big fight to talk about. We I got Net Hulu. <laughs> Fedor Ermelenko will be fighting <laughs> Jail Sonnen. They decided to release this as the promo photo. Which is fantastic. For this event, way. Russia versus the United States in the Heavyweight World Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, Mr. Jail Sonnen over there looking like Apollo Creed. I think that's the most chiseled Emilienko's ever been. Look at his shoulders. <laughs> Look at it. He's got one giant ab. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the Chuck Liddell fat six pack going on. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, Chael's gonna die. Oh, well, I mean, the last guy who dressed like this against a Russian did. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> do you like though? That like, I like that it's also the great. This is on Chael's page, of course. The greatest and most decorated fighter in history of martial arts will finally face Fedor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Chael's good. He's good. Chael's He's good. If anybody, do you think the outfit yeah. is good? Do you like that? I, I mean, he had thing. to come up with that, right? You had to thing. think that had to be Chael. I like the the old school Barnum and Bailey circus poster in oh, the yeah. background. Yeah, like the Russian flag and the American flag. I mean, you notice that yeah. Fedor's font is also Russian, like kind of styling. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm surprised the R is not backwards. Hey, Sonin 2024. Yeah. Sonin 2024. Remember that? <laughs> he could easily talk his way into the White House. Oh yeah, Sonin 2024. I mean, how much more fucked up can it get up there? I mean, really. <laughs> this right? fight, again, will be going down October And then if he wins, that would be idiocracy, right? He yes, would be our be. Macho Camacho Gacho. <laughs> Mountain, <laughs> Herbert Mountain Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Emmanuel Macho. Macho. And then we could actually get our Broadway show, Ass, made into a movie. <laughs> Speaking of bigger Three fights, hours long. it is official. <laughs> Cyborg on, Justino will fight Amanda Nunes on for UFC 232 December 29th in Las Vegas. Amanda Hug and Kiss. The number one and number you two pound-for-pound pound female you fighters by the ESPN rankings will be fighting. All right. I don't know for whose belt they're fighting for. That's, I'm assuming uh, Cyborg's. Yeah. Yeah, she's not coming down to 135. 100%, 100%, yeah, she can't, remember? 100 she can't. She'll cyborgs. die. <laughs> All right, but what do you feel, think about this? I feel bad for the Leslie chick who just can't get up here. From yeah. Brazil, like Cyborg keeps saying she wants to fight, but this is a great uh, female super fight right here. Hands down, yeah. Well, wait. We all waited for this girl from Australia to come over, and she got fucking handled by Holmes. Yeah. So I don't have much hope for these super fighters that people keep talking about. But at least we've seen both these girls but fight. There was, there, was the, there was the woman down in Brazil though, that Cyborg really wanted to fight and that really wanted to fight Cyborg. Okay. And so basically the last fight on her contract was going to be that chick or Nunes. And it looks like we got Nunes. How long did you have him turned down for? No, he, he wasn't turned down. Oh, okay. Are you excited for this fight? <laughs> yes, I am, actually. Are you excited for this fight more than Fedor versus Chael? No. Are you kidding me? Are you excited for this fight Is more than Conor versus Khabib? 
Um, in the rankings, where are you putting them? Want to see the most? Which one do I want to see the most? Oh, I want to see this fight. Over Chael versus Fedor. Oh, yeah. Over Connor versus Khabib. N- no. Ooh. No. That's, that's, that's what's rough. I love, I love the Connor. Luckily, say, they're all not hey, happening the same day. Yeah, Connor Khabib. So you get Khabib, to watch them all. The Connor Khabib, Khabib, this fight, and then the Shale. But Shale and Emilienko <laughs> really ain't even in my top ten right now. I want it's a big fight. I, I want to see it because of the novelty are you saying, Are you saying ra- would, would Wand Rampage 4 be above or below Shale and Fedor? I don't know. I want to see Mickey Gall O'Malley. <laughs> That'd be a good fight. I'd like yeah. to see that. No, I, if if you gave me the choice, like you can only watch one of one. these fights, then I'm watching Connor could be. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, Tito and Lindell. And Chuck eventually. That's maybe. in my that's in my top ten. <laughs> really? No, no, yeah. no. We're talking top five. Top five. But no, I There's really, six. <laughs> I There's really, an alternate bout. Fourth bout that might fight, win in my head. I want to see this fight only for the first probably three minutes of it because then we'll know how much of a chance Amanda Nunes has. Okay. Or is, I like that. is Cyborg just going to ragdoll her? You know? Uh, if Nunes has a chance, then this could potentially be like one of the best fights of the year. Right. Because the, the thing I do like about this fight is you're not going to see the held back Cyborg that we've seen in the last three fights. Yeah, exactly. And I, I know people want to argue with me and they're like, no, man, she came at Holly. I'm like, no, no she, she did. did what if we had... She did, like you said, for the first three minutes and was like, whoa, <laughs> I can't beat this girl up so fast. What if we Sorry. had the old school... Slow it down. Nah, nah. Like, <laughs> yeah, War games, down, nah. or what was that movie like? King of the Ring with with the uh, the old wrestling movie was it King of the Ring? You know what I'm no, talking about? No, no, Where you had to fight ten guys no, no, in no. one night? No, 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 no. It was like uh, had uh, David Arquette in it. Before. Had David Arquette. In it. Oh, Ready to Rumble. Ready to Rumble. What if we had like three cages stacked on top of each other? We could just watch all three at the same time. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> Super event. Make it happen. Like that though, crazy so chess money. game in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, right? That's Star Trek. No, you, put, you gotta, huh? you gotta fight your way through each game yeah. to get so the you, ultimate belt. No, it's, it's like the it's old Bruce Lee thing. Wars, You're going up the, the first, first movie. Yes, it's perfect. It's single but plane. MMA. <laughs> single plane? It's a single plane in Star Wars. You're okay. talking about the multi-level in Star Trek. Okay. So we had PFL 6 <laughs> happen. PFL 6 happened. And then is there one tonight? Is there PFL is. 7 tonight? Yes. Because it's Thursday. Yeah, but they're not every Thursday as we found. They skip Thursdays. Okay, well, look. PFL 7 is going to be going out on the 30th. Which is not tonight. Which is still before we do our next show. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing PFL 6 recap. <laughs> that doesn't, Why are you so angry? That, that, I said, is it tonight? And you said, yes, it's not tonight. I, I think the real job is really almost. fucking your attitude up. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you used to be so much cooler. No, I did not at all. <laughs> you know what it is? It's the shots. It's it starting must, to react yeah, with must you. Be. It's the measles and mumps. Are really so anyway, right now. Ooh, recap PFL 6. Uh, yeah, so you had Ray Cooper the third get a win over Pablo Kush with the TKO in the very first round of 18 seconds. Contract or no? You can read that? This is PFL. The shots they are helping his vision. Oh, wait. I thought it was Tuesday Night Fight Contender Series. Yeah, the measles are really messing with me. Uh, Magomed Magomedov gets a uh, win over Bo Jan. And he's pronouncing names Nokovic. with no problem. This is weird. Hey, Kayla Harrison gets a TKO win over Joseph <laughs> Cotton. And then... Uh, uh, Abu Bakar. <laughs> no more get up. No more get up over uh, Jonathan Weston with a what unanimous was it, decision. Yao Zeferino over Yuri Villafort with a rear naked choke. And then we also need to recap Bellator. And then Bellator also happened. Do you know next week's lottery numbers? Uh, yeah. That <laughs> happened last Friday, right? Seven. Right? <laughs> That's all I'm giving you. <laughs> Bet it all on seven. Got it. Last right. Saturday. Last Saturday, right? Uh, Taiwan Claxton gets a unanimous win over Chris Lencion. Then you have uh, uh, Ricky Bendejas over James Gallagher. Pinche Bendejas. With a head kick and follow-up punches. Logan Storley with a TKO with elbows over AJ Matthews. And Darian Caldwell gets a KO over Nod Lahat. Yeah, I knew Gallagher was going to no lose hat. when he came out and smashed a watermelon. <laughs> is, that, is that when you knew? Yeah. That was like Between his thighs? <laughs> Whoa. Have you seen those so, chicks that do that? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of amazing. Uh-huh. See the one that smashes stuff with her PFL tip? PFL 7? Oh, yeah. That's that's not amazing. It's rugged. <laughs> PFL 7 will because be happening. she, like, throws it up in the air, and then she comes over the top of it. <laughs> it's like, whoop. From the top rope. Oh, Why my, are we looking at a half-naked man? That's my new PFL Why logo. are we not looking at a half-naked <laughs> it's man? It's Kevin Hart. That's right, because he, he, he owns it now. He's a part of it. <laughs> what I'm thinking is... I can't that's find the, good PFL hey, graphics, so this the, works. Think, dude, that that's the coat? tiniest fork, fur coat ever, ever made. It's a, bar, it's a Barbie fur it's coat. It's a Barbie fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, 
That's just hey, one. You ever had mouse fur? It's so soft. I was gonna say, that, I was gonna say that's just like one beaver pelt that he just like. Put on. <laughs> <laughs> or like when he when he's talking about Shaq, he's all, I'm in the locker room. Shaq's like, oh, oh man, Shaq, get that thing off. <laughs> no man, what's going on? Get it off, get Shaq. It off Come me. on, man. Get it off me. It's just a it's a repurposed uh, coonskin hat right there. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa. Did you just say coonskin with Kevin Hart on there? David Crockett hat. David Crockett. Oh, get back on the porch. Davey, <laughs> Davey Crockett. <laughs> Bringing it back. Bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they're called? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've always heard them called, man. Uh, so anyway, PFL 7. <laughs> Want to read those? Read those? Uh, yeah, That's sure. going to happen next Thursday. This is next Thursday, not tonight. With uh, Chow Before Alan. our next show. <laughs> before our next show. Because we don't do shows on Thursday all the time. I don't know when our next time. show's going to happen. You're not even going to be here for the next show. Nope. Unless you're going to be here, and then you'll be here. Exactly. Which may happen. <laughs> <laughs> Chow Alan Carr. Chow Alan Carr. Chow. Chow. Alan's car's leaving. Fake Chow uh, Alan Carr. <laughs> Fake Matt Kyle. <laughs> Going up against Matt Kyle. You also have Paul Bradley taking on Anderson Ferreira. Uh, Alexandra Bezerra takes on Magomed Idrizov and uh, Bezigit. <laughs> Bezigit. Goes up against Sean O'Connell. And he will tear Smilly up a picture. Of the, he's going to tear up a picture of the Pope. <laughs> right. uh, then you have uh, Smilihino. 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 Rama takes on Jamie or yeah Jamie Abdallah. Ab Abdallah. Abdallah. All right. Ab. It's an Abdallah. I have Abdallah. an Abdallah. Just one, <laughs> one dollar. Abdallah. I have an Ab nickel. And then this Saturday there are two fights happening. Two. We have. I bet there's way more than two fights happening. Well, yeah, two how about two cards. Two cards. Two cards happening. This I one like right three here. card poker. That's I'm my excited favorite. about this. Bare knuckle <laughs> fighting championship number two. Going from Biloxi, Missouri. And look over here. We have a uh, Kendall Grove taking on a Bruce Abramski. Is okay. So wasn't Kendall Grove supposed to fight somebody else? Mm. I don't know. Chris Lytle taking on Drew Lipton. Chris Lytle, man. Chris Lytle's back. That's fucking awesome. He's Lights out, Lytle. Wreck somebody. Lights out, Lytle's gonna kill Drew Lipton. I feel yeah, dude. He was, a, he was a pro boxer before he was in MMA. Could you imagine if we got, uh, like, uh, what, Hand to Stone? Yeah, in there Sam too? Stout. Who was the one he hit? Sam Stout had the fight with, the epic fight, and then the rematch was not so epic. It was kind of boring. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have to look it up. But you got old Charles Crazy fucking Felony Bennett over here, too. Crazy Horse? Yep. Going up against Michael McDonald. Not, not our Michael not, McDonald. He's got injured hands. You can't fight in a hand fighting. <laughs> and then your main event is going to be Bad Beck Rawlings taking on Britton Hart. Which if Britney Hart sounds like a it's porn. It's Bad Beck, not Rowdy Beck. It's Rowdy Beck. It's Rowdy Beck. I just <laughs> want to say Bad Beck. She's the main event. Yeah. She's rugged. Yeah. And she, as long as she ain't got nobody kicking her, she's good. She said she was made for this sport. She loves yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Brit Britain Hart, Britney Hart doesn't look scary at all. And then also going down, this is going to be on Fight Pass and Fox Sports 2 and 1. So we're going 3 2 1. 3 2 1. This is. Uh, UFC Fight Night, what is this, 135, I believe? UFC Lincoln, Nebraska. Stinking Lincoln. Right? Stinking Lincoln. Happening at the pinnacle. 135, yep. Okay, here we go. Starting off at the bottom. Starting off at the bottom, you got Randy Yaya yeah, yeah, taking on Luke Sanders. Then you have Drew Dauber taking on uh, John Tux. Uh, you also have Joanne Calderwood taking on Kalindra Faria. Then jumping on to Fox Sports 2, Mickey Gall, your boy right there. Hey, my boy. Taking on George Sullivan. Hanging with the boys. Andrew Sanchez going up against Marcus <laughs> Perez. Larry Alcantara taking on Corey Sandhagen and James Kraus going up against Warley Alves. Moving then to Fox, Fox Sports, Sports 1. Uno. Eric Anders, the Uno. Eric Anders takes on Tim Williams. You also have John Moraga going up against Davison Figueroa. Is he going to fight in his green shirt or his turquoise shirt? <laughs> oh, that's another John. Yeah, that's another John. <laughs> John Morgan, right? That's John Morgan. Okay. There you sorry. go. Sorry. Sorry. In his teal shirt. Jake Ellenberger going up against Brian hair. Barberina. And Courtney Casey goes up against Angela Hill. Dude, Side Barbarina should come back to welcome, come out to welcome back Carter. <laughs> Carter. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Michael should, Johnson really. going up against Andre Touchy Feely. And the violent fight of the night, Justin Gaethje takes on James Vick. I like this. They are advertising this, obviously, as being a very violent fight. Between the two of them, they have 18, 18 KOs. 18 combined Okay, KOs. So, so the most... Justin Gaethje has 17. The, just James remember, Vick has one. The last time they tried to do something like this, when they had like UFC 76, knockout was like the name. There was not a single fucking knockout mm -hmm. on the card. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's how it happened. So we have 18 combined knockouts and zero on this card. It's how many times does Justin Gaethje go out on his feet? Just to come back and win, I don't know if he's gonna win, but I'm just saying, <laughs> how many times? Because against Michael twice. Johnson, right? He was out twice, going twice. We're gonna, yeah. I'm gonna up the ante and go three. We're going full CTE. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The violence is real. And that's pretty much it for the news and fights going down this week. Big thanks for listening, of course. Make sure that you uh, check out our shirts that are on shirtsickle.com slash SDMMA. You get the Fight Night and Chill. You can get the old school Pride one and, of course, our original as well. Again, you guys like the shorter shows? Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. You like the shorter shows? These are short shows. We can bring back the You're hour short, short. show. We just we got stuff going on. We got stuff going on this week. Things yeah. happen. We're yeah, getting used to somebody's new schedule. Yeah, and then all of a sudden I'm going camping. Woo. And then we had like a no audio show. Woo. I'm still gonna bring that up. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Uh, of course, our sponsors, Dependable Solutions, Innovate Your Business. Make sure that you, if you're, if you're taking credit cards and you want a discount over what you're paying right now for credit card services, you can check out Dependable Solutions. And you can also, uh, what are you doing? I don't know. Playing with my buttons? To see if I can. Hack, oh, yeah, dude, it's not locked. Hack into your stolen phone. It's not stolen. <laughs> this is the one I bought, man. It's a legit. I bought that. It's a phone. legit. Off a of street vendor. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, and of course, Strongboard, change the way you work out, get on board, strongboardbalance.com. Uh, it's a real different way to work out, and it's, it's, it's working it's really for Dodge. Different. It works for Dodge because you can tell he's been doing it for six months and he's taller. Yeah. Yeah. It just helps every time. <laughs> <laughs> it reverses gravity. Check us out online, our social accounts, SD underscore MMA on Instagram and Twitter, Split Decision MMA Podcast on Facebook, Split Decision MMA.com, and anywhere podcast or broadcast. He's doing the cranks now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening from the St. Cal Studios. It's Bueller Dodge and Dennis saying have a good night. We'll see you at the fights. <laughs> What's up?